we are producing enough food to feed everyone. People are still hungry, yet we're wasting food and prices keep going up. About 60% of the food produced in Canada annually is wasted, and a lot of that is still edible when it's thrown away. A homegrown Toronto company is trying to make a dent in that number. I spoke to farmers, spoke to greenhouses to see what was going on, and it turned out that a lot of things that just didn't look pretty enough, or maybe they had in surplus, were end up going to the landfills. Divyansh Oja, CEO of Odd Bunch, explains that fruits and vegetables that don't meet aesthetic standards, ones that look a little odd or different, never make it to the grocery store. And it's not just the unattractive ones that don't pass muster. So you can't expect a carrot to grow all evenly sized. Um, but to, to sort of cut down on certain transportation costs, their packaging needs to be uniform. So anything that's not the right size, not, not the right shape, they're not able to actually package them and send it off to the retailers. So that gets tossed in the garbage too. The, the best case outcome there is if they are willing to ship it to a, let's say, a cattle farm. When there's two, three million Canadians that don't know where the next meal is coming from, how is it that we're feeding cattle? Meanwhile, the price of food continues to go up. Odd Bunch's mission is to divert all that perfectly edible produce away from landfills and onto Canadians' tables. We work with farms, greenhouses, distributors. Wherever there is waste, we will go. The food that would otherwise be wasted is then sorted into curated boxes based on what's available that week. Boxes start at $20 plus delivery for a box which is about 14, 15 pounds of fresh food. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Customers say during a cost-of-living crisis, that's much more bang for your buck than the big grocery chains. Groceries are so expensive for everyone right now. And for me, um, I love to cook and I love to eat well and eat really healthy. And it was just getting way too expensive. So this was a really great option. Thank you. The vegetables and fruits that I've received have been pretty much the same as the grocery store. If you compare what you can get at the grocery store, you're saving a significant amount of money. Oja says the business is proof that fresh produce and other food can be made widely available to Canadians at affordable prices. We're not necessarily a very small scale service now. We, we service everywhere from pretty much Windsor all the way to Montreal. Yeah. So we've proved that this model can be scaled. It's ironic that a business like this needs to exist. If, if the grocers or the, the bigger players are able to take pretty much everything that is offered to them and some of the stuff they're able to discount and just sort of blow out at cheaper prices, um, then we go out of business and I wouldn't be complaining. Until then, he says they'll keep up their mission of saving food and money. Dilshad Berman, City News.